Hello, everybody. Uh, first and foremost, uh, I want to thank the organizers, uh, in particular Roberto, giving me the opportunity to uh, speak here today. Um, actually, Tim Morris was supposed to uh, speak, but cannot be here, unfortunately, today because of personal reasons. And I would like to present um, a series of three papers um, of Tim. Uh, in collaboration with Jürgen Dietz and, and Zoe Slate, who's also here, uh, which all de deals with the issue of, um, or the question of what is the influence uh, of demanding background independence to RG properties, and particular the, the, the notion and the uh, existence of fixed points in the quantum field theory of gravity. And as, as a somehow simpler toy model, we, we've been looking at uh, uh, conformally reduced gravity. And, and I will uh, focus in particular on, on the second paper. Um, in, in the series. Uh, yeah, so, so we, we've seen uh, very good introductions, uh, particularly on, and uh, that, that's why I have only one slide, but uh, let me just, that's probably the condensation of, of what you should take home. That um, first of all, uh, whenever you uh, whenever you choose to uh, apply the background field method in the quantum field theory to do to be able to carry out a particular calculation, you will split uh, your full field in some kind of background plus uh, remainder. The fluctuation does, mu does not have to be in this linear fashion, um, but it will be in some, in some way. And, uh, and well, and, and uh, whatever you, the, the, results of, the results of your calculation, they should not depend on, on, on the particular way, the uh, artificial way and how, how you do the split. Or the physical quantities are only a function of the full field. So this is true also, for instance, in young Mills theory, or in any quantum field theory, but, but might be trivial. Um, it, it's usually introduced through um, uh, gauge the gauge fixing sector and, and, and the resulting ghost sector. Uh, but additionally, in, in if you want to study quantum field theories of, of uh, gravity, you have a, additional the problem that you uh, when you want to use the functional RG equation, you have to uh, define a notion of scale. And this is usually done by, by the spectrum of, of uh, some Laplace uh, operator, which you defined with respect to uh, the, the back, back, background metric. All right? So, um, in a way, the, uh, uh, the, the way how you classify the fluctuation of your gravitational field depends on, on, on it, the field itself, uh, namely the background part. All right? Uh, so this, um, so through this dependence, which will show up in, in the cutoff function, which depends on this uh, Laplace operator, uh, Background dependence will be lost at least in intermediate uh, scales k, and you you will be able to restore this, however, by uh, de uh, uh, demanding that this modified split water identity is satisfied at least in the limit on k going to zero. Okay, so let me just clarify a bit of the our notation. So we're interested in conformally reduced gravity, uh, where the metric, the full metric uh, with the twiddle, is expressed as some conformal factor, F, uh, and some fiducial background metric, which we actually fix to be uh, Euclidean fl flat. Um, and uh, the, the, the conformal factor field uh, phi twiddle, which we split in the background, chi, and uh, the fluctuations uh, var phi twiddle, which then uh, its, cl its classical counterpart will be denoted by just this var phi. All right? The back background met metric we denote with, with a bar on, on top. I note that the, the conformal factor 
uh, is arbit kept arbitrary in terms of the parameterization uh, of, of the conformal factor field. All right? Also note that this uh, function f itself does not depend on, on the scale. And, uh, and in this theory, there no need any gauge fixing uh, nor ghosts. All right. Um, so the first uh, step is obviously to derive the functional RG equation, the Wetterich equation, which we have here. Note um, that uh, derivatives of the inverse uh, propagator are taken with respect to the fluctuation field, and then the, uh, the, the, the cutoff regulator will, will depend on uh, the background field, uh, chi through the Laplacian. And the DRG time is just the lock of, of the, the K. Uh, so demanding that background independence is done uh, then equivalent to, to imposing, in, in the case of the linear split, the split symmetry, where you just shift the fluctuation field by some uh, field epsilon and the background in the other direction. And then you can derive from, uh, yeah, the, the Average action, uh, the, um, the w what we will refer to as the uh, modified split water density, uh, and uh, this identity encodes to some extent how uh, much this split symmetry is violated by the effect of action. Note also that the, that the structure uh, is, 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 is quite similar to the flow equation itself, but where the, the, the time derivative acting on the cutoff is replaced somehow by the uh, dependence on the background field, right? That's acting on, on R uh, directly or on this, on this uh, inverse square roots of, of, of the determinant, uh, which include this um, F, this, the conform factor. So the first thing uh, you may want to ask, and, and also, also that has been said before, uh, if, if, the, if the system is uh, compatible, if the water density is compatible with the flow, and, and what, what I mean with that, I repeat it again, is uh, given that the water density is satisfied at some scale, and given that the uh, effective average action um, uh, evolves uh, according to the flow equation, the water density should be satisfied in each and every scale. Uh, so rewriting the, the, the MSWI as we've just seen as left-hand side minus right-hand side is equal to zero, you, 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 you can derive the flow of this water entity and, and what you get is, is, is this. And in particular, it will be proportional to the water entity itself, so this is going to be zero. And then the water entity is a constant which is zero. This is uh, somehow trivial at the functional level because you just... Uh, do simple manipulation to, to the same partition function. Um, but however, this is not at all trivial anymore if you, if you truncate your system in, in any kind of practical uh, calculation. And it's also not clear at all what, what is, however, I call the overlap of information. So uh, it's not clear if, if either one equation contains the information of the other. Uh, and this is, and in particular, we see that that will uh, depend, at least in in our truncated example, will depend a lot uh, on whether compatibility is satisfied or not. So then we wanted to study the system in the derivative expansion up to second order in uh, in. in, in the derivatives and uh, assuming a slowly varying background field chi, we can terminate the kinetic term effectively at the LPA. And uh, this is the most general action you can write down there. And then um, from the full functional uh, flow equation water density, you get two equations at, at each and every order in the, uh, in the derivative expansion. And I will just show the two equations we, we get for, for the potential here, where, where Q is, is the propagator to this order in, in the expansion, and we have this very similar form as before. So here you will have, a, in the flow, you have the, 
the tundra rooftop acting on the cutoff. Uh, here you have the, the background field acting on the cutoff. The first thing you can study in this truncated system, again, is uh, compatibility. To that end, you can calculate, again, the flow uh, of both the uh, water entities you have now. Uh, here I just show you the flow of the water entity for the potential V. And you see it gets quite a bit more involved. So you will have uh, something that looks a lot uh, as the identity we've seen before in the functional case. And this is actually going to vanish uh, assuming this is satisfied. Uh, so the water entities are satisfied themselves. But then you have uh, this double integral, um, which involves this commutator-like terms of the, um, of the regulator, uh, where for, for future convenience, we abbreviated uh, with gamma uh, this, this thing, which is basically the variation of the conformal factor with respect to the background field. Now, one uh, way to have the flow of, of the water entity to vanish is to demand that this commutator-like term, uh, which is written out here, uh, is actually zero, and this integral will obviously be zero. And you can integrate this equation, uh, but just noting that if you write this in terms of quotients, this will actually be independent of the momenta. Uh, and then you will see that, that this has to be uh, linearly related to the time derivative by some function that, that, is, that, is, uh, only depend, that is dependent on the background and maybe dependent on scale as well. Uh, for the flow of the water entity for the kinetic term is much more involved, much more complicated, and you will get additional commutator-like terms as so, with higher derivatives in the momenta. But again, it turns out that they vanish if this condition is satisfied. Uh, so this uh, is, a, is, an, is a necessary and sufficient condition uh, to ensure that com uh, compatibility is uh, actually satisfied at each and every order. This, however, I, I should mention, is, is, is not, uh, not necessary, right? So, so they the might not vanish, but then this, uh, this equation and all the others will give you additional constraints that are non-trivial and you have to satisfy. So in a sense, they are secondary constraints. But then if this is not trivially satisfied, you will also have to ha uh, look at the flow of this object and so on. So all derivatives of the water entity itself, and you have to demand that they are zero. This will give you a tower of uh, secondary constraints, which you presumably cannot satisfy uh, simultaneously. Uh, so this, this um, compatibility condition can be satisfied. Uh, it turns out that this is satisfied either if the anomalous dimension of the graviton is, is zero, and then it's trivially satisfied by this being a constant, or if this is not zero, you get a differential equation like so, uh, with some constant, uh, and, 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 and this can be solved uh, with choosing the, the cutoff profile in the dimensionless variable, and with rescate with f variable p hat uh, as so being power law. Okay, now I want in the a uh, couple of five remaining minutes, I'll just show you three results we obtained uh, in the DLPA. And first of all, you see if you rewrite uh, the, fixed, uh, the, the flow equation and the water density in terms of dimensionless variables, uh, that you get a non-autonomous uh, system in T. So actually demanding uh, you are at a fixed point where the, the time derivatives of the dimensionless potential uh, vanishes, um, then this equation is going to be independent of, of the RG time t. This, however, by the change of variables to independent uh, to dimensionless variables, sorry, you introduce uh, a time dependence in the, in the um, dimensionless conformal factor which will show up through the gamma here, you cannot eliminate. And you can only, uh, and this will in general uh, uh, for, 
uh, this will, in general, not allow you to have fixed points uh, unless, again, you set either eta to zero, because then this is going to be one, and, or, um, or you have the, the parameterization, the conform factor uh, now to be power law, not a, not a uh, cutoff. Um, but then again, as I said, uh, if, if the equations are not compatible, not, not everything is lost a priori, but you, you can try to solve the system still. And what we did is without including the additional constraints, we just uh, tried to solve in, in, a particular, in a particular case in four dimensions with the optimized cutoff, the then resulting incompatible equations. And it turns out you, you can combine them and uh, separate the scale dependence uh, as, as so by the method of characteristics where you have this function v hat that is then only depending on some initial data and plugging that back into the flow equation, which you have in addition to this combined equation. Uh, you get then this form of equation. And again, uh, uh, this, this will depend explicitly on t unless you, you again, set eta, so you can only obtain uh, solutions if eta is equal to zero, but then again, the, the system was compatible in the first place. Third thing is, what, is what, what actually happens if we have this, right? So what happens if eta is actually zero, and then again, it turns out you can combine the flow and the water density, and after some redefinition of the scale, which will then depend on, this, on, on the parameterization, you end up with some flow equation that is manifestly independent of both the background field, chi, as well as the parameterization. And it also turns out that the fixed points, so there's a line of fixed points here, I don't want to go into this too much here, uh, coincides with the fixed points you, you would have obtained by just studying uh, the system without the the water density, but you have to demand this condition. And it's very interesting that this, under certain conditions, it is possible to uh, formulate the flow uh, combined with the water density in, in, a, in an absolutely background independent way. All right, let me um, conclude then. So we investigated potential conflicts that can exist uh, between the notion of fixed points and background independence in the quantum uh, field theory of gravity. Uh, we, we saw that compatibility of the flow equation and the water density is always satisfied that it's at least in conformally reduced gravity at the exact level, um, but not in the derivative expansion, but however can be guaranteed when either eta equal to zero or the cutoff is chosen to be power law. We claim there are no solutions uh, if, the, if those two equations are incompatible and confirmed this with some example. Uh, we also see that even if they are compatible, fixed points may in general still be forbidden. Um, but however, there seems to be, uh, well, don't know if always, but in, at least in our case, there is a way to actually combine the flow and, the, and, and the, this modified split water density to uncover some background independent description. Thank you. <laughs>